In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic automation when someone submits a high-level form, and uh, we're simply going to uh, tag the contact, we're going to reply to the contact, and we're going to notify the team in the automation. All right, so let's uh, let's jump in. The first thing I'm going to do is just show you one of uh, these automations that are, that are set up. Um, uh, so this is for someone who submits the contact form on our small business marketing website. It's a micro website, and uh, the domain is smallbusiness.imagebuildingmedia.com. So when someone submits this form, then the automation is, first of all, going to uh, tag them. Second of all, it's going to send a reply email address to the contact. And thirdly, it's going to notify the team so the uh, team can uh, work on this accordingly. All right, so uh, let me just show you what we're uh, going to do. Uh, we're going to create workflow. We're going to start from scratch. Now you're going to want to rename this. And then also with your settings, uh, you're going to uh, allow multiple and that's the only change we typically make for that. Um, of course, you uh, don't forget to save your changes, and when you're done, you can publish it and make sure that you test it. So we need a trigger. So the trigger is when someone submits a form, form submitted, and then you're going to add a filter that the form is, uh, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Then you're going to click Save Trigger. Now, the next thing uh, we have in this is that we're going to add a tag, and you can select whatever tag you want. Uh, if, by the way, just in case you don't know, uh, if you want to create a brand new tag, you can just um, put tag, whatever you want that to be, and then click Add New Tag. So that'll, that will add this new tag to your CRM. All right. So that tag can be whatever you want it to be. I'll just select that right there. All right, so the next thing is we want to reply to the contact that submitted the form. And so we're just going to uh, send an email. And then you fill this out accordingly, just like you would any email. Uh, it's got to have the from name. So, of course, you want that to be something they'll recognize. It uh, needs to have your uh, email address, and that's the email address, the sending email address out of your CRM so that you have uh, increased your deliverability uh, to uh, the very best it can be. Have your subject line. If you've got a template already set up that you want to use, you can select that here or just put your message right here. And then if you want to send a test, you can. All right, so then after that, um, you may want to send a notification to uh, your team. Uh, send internal notification. You can select what type you want to send, whether it's an email, SMS, or just a system notification there. We'll send an email. Um, then again, you have the from uh, uh, name for the email. You have the email that's going to be sent out of your system. Uh, you can select that this is going to all of the users that are set up or the one uh, assigned to this contact or to uh, just to do a flat out custom email. So you could put any email address there you want it to send it to, or you could select a particular user. And if you do that, then just select the user. Um, subject line for the email. Again, if you want to use a template, you can do that. And if not, uh, just go on and fill out what that email is. And that's it. You're ready at that point to just publish this, save this, and you're done. So let's review it one more time over here. One that we've got that's live. You're going to select your trigger, which will be whichever form you're dealing with here. You're going to select a tag to add to that. You're going to send an email to the contact. And then we always like to notify our team so that they 
um, you know that they need to come over here and uh, act accordingly. All right, so Alan McNabb with Image Building Media. I hope this has helped you out a lot and look forward to having you again with us for future tutorials. Have a great day.